Welcome everyone to the True Path Technologies web series called True Path Cool Tools. This is one out of a five part webinar series. Um, our next one coming up December 16th. That is a Friday at 11 o'clock East Coast. Hope you can join us then. And thank you of course for joining us today. It's a very exciting lineup that we have. Cool tools to demo uh, right here. Thank you to the participants who are joining us live. Uh, we, we've got a great number of you and we appreciate you guys being here today with us. And thank you for our viewers who will be joining us on demand. I'm Jamie Scott of Taya, JSA, and it's my honor to introduce my friend, Douglas Morrow. He's the founder of True Path Technologies. Douglas, how are you? Thank you very much, Jamie. Great to be here. And just a couple of words about Douglas. Um, toot his horn for him, if you will. <laughs> um, he is the founder, of course, and the senior engineer at TruePath. Over 20 years of expertise uh, in enterprise data centers, and he wrote a book. Uh, something many of you may not know, but should. He's an O'Reilly author. There you go. There's the book. Um, <laughs> and that's Amazon's number one selling network management book, Essential SNMP. So if you want to know what makes SNMP essential, check out this book. Uh, it's now in its second edition. Uh, and also, of course, uh, software publishing is very close to his heart, as you can tell from uh, TruePath's latest telco web portal, LMS, which makes him the perfect guy, I think, to demonstrate uh, what is cool in 2016. Um, so again, the purpose of this is to really explore net, um, cool tools that us business owners know about so we can include them in our uh, enterprise endeavors. And uh, so today we're going to be featuring three uh, tools for us. Three tools. And uh, so it's Jing, Schedule One, and Join.me. And I think up first we're going to do uh, Jing. So let's talk a little bit about Jing. Um, when uh, we talked about getting this series going, uh, of course, there were a few tools that popped up in our minds, and I have to say, without a doubt, Jing was the very first tool that not just myself, uh, but also all of the engineers that I work with within my company, we use that day in and day out. And I was just saying to Jamie uh, earlier that I was working uh, with a tool, an online web tool, um, which I would love if we end up getting it going. It's called Clipfolio, and uh, it's really cool dashboards. But I had some questions on it. I had some issues, and so lo and behold, I went out there live chat, and I guess what the engineer was using, Jing, it was awesome. It made it so much easier. I gave him a clip, he gave me one back. Next thing you know, my problem solved. It's absolutely great. So let's get into a demonstration, and we're going to do that by uh, giving an example. So uh, what do they say? A picture is worth a thousand words. Um, and uh, movies worth a million. So what I want to do here is I need to explain to my uh, lovely web developer that there's some sort of problem here uh, going on um, with my uh, web page here. And if you can believe it, I'm in charge of the play.google store. Not really. So what I want to do is just imagine me trying to explain this to them. Say, geez, you know, uh, Anytime that I hover over books, it should be blue, it should be orange, there's some sort of issue there. Well, if I go to a, uh, this uh, utility, and it's, the parent company is TechSmith. They have some other products too, which, which we're going to talk about. But the one that we're going to be focusing on right now and that we're going to be explaining is uh, Jing. Free download, you can't beat the price, zero dollars, absolutely awesome and uh, very quick installation and when you're done there's a little uh, sun that is down here that is um, ready for your capture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of move this over so I can see this little sun here. Give me one second and I think Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and issue the capture, and what we're going to do is go here, and you'll see these little icons right here. And hopefully, Jamie, you can see this, right? I, I can. Yeah. Very good. Definitely. Good. So uh, one of the options is capture image. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to capture the image, and it's going to pop this little screen up for me. 
And uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, annotate it because I'm going to send this and say, geez, is this, you know, you know what do we want to fix? Music, newsstand, devices? I really don't know. Well, I need to have books fixed. And I need to have books uh, be colored in blue for some reason. I'm going to make that a little brighter. I'm going to add a few more of this and that. And the other thing that you know, we could do is we could you know, highlight this and talk about what a great movie this is or whatnot and go from there. You can change colors. You can do all that. So far, though, stay with me because nothing tell you. The power within Jing is just the ease of capturing, annotating, and sharing right up to the cloud. It's absolutely awesome. So I'm going to click on this little upload button here. It says share via screencast.com. When I click that, you'll see down here it says automatically uploaded. It said uploaded to screencast and all this crazy text. I usually click just the auto hide. But the most important thing now is watch this. It's already in my clipboard. It's oh. already sitting in there. So if I wanted to right here, if I had to share this with you, Jamie, or with our participants, I could put this right into the chat window. So when I am working with uh, customers, when I'm working with developers, it makes it very easy. So let's get into another example here. I need to now uh, go to this because the developer said, well, I don't know what you mean. It is blue. Well, it needs to be blue when I hover over it or something like that. So take a look. Now I can get into capture video. So I'm going to click on that. And by the way, if I screwed it up, I could just redo the selection or I could sort of make it a little better and you know, move it around if I want. I mean, you know, let me just grab that in there. So I'm going to click on capture. No microphone detected, but if there was, I could go ahead and, and tell them and walk them through it. I click that. I click upload. And guess what? As you can imagine, it is uploading it. It's automatically putting it in my clipboard. And it is out there. I can very easily send that to the developers. And you can see that so quick, so easy, absolutely awesome tool. And let me just uh, say that, again, very first tool that we thought of. We absolutely love it. And uh, Jing is the first and the the first tool to get our uh, 2016 Cool Tools Award. Absolutely love it. Rightfully so. You know, my favorite feature here is that it's it's all via URLs, so you don't have these like big files that you're trying to email out. You can just instant message or Skype it, um, which totally is can. we communicate for sure. Yeah, so. exactly. Exactly. Now, I just touched on a couple of features of it. Some of the other cool features that uh, you can do with it is you can copy the code, you could download the image. Really, it's just a nice tool to take little screenshots as well. So even if you don't share it, if you have to attach it, if people can't get to the site for some weird reason, or, or if you want to put it within your knowledge base, you can actually copy the code and embed it. You can also do what's called a uh, hotkey. Control Shift C, bring it up, and it automatically brings up the capture utility. Crosshairs, yeah. Yeah, very good. So the other thing that I want to say is that they have the sort of next feature, because again, this is freemium model. Now, TechSmith used to have a sort of pro version of Jing, and they did away with that, and they came out with um, a uh, new product, different product, I guess you would call it, uh, which is called Snagit. And one of the really nice features of Snagit, which is the next version up of Jing, if you will, is that you can actually uh, do uh, scrolling capture. So right now, if I just want to capture, the only thing I can do is just capture just the screen. But now with the scrolling capture, I can actually scroll all the way down to the bottom. I can scroll left and right, and uh, it, it allows you to really uh, get the entire picture. Oh, that's the other great thing. for those like parallax websites or infographics exactly. that might be super long. You can't really see it. Exactly. Oh. Exactly. That's perfect. And nowadays, take a look at what we're looking at on the screen right now. As you can see, the little image right there that sort of shows click and hold and it's drag. Well, Snagit allows you to create little animated GIFs. So as we go along, as we're describing our product, as we're sort of showing how to interact with our website, Snagit will, will allow you to do that. So 100%, um, we're talking Jing, uh, Cool Tools 2016, and if you want to take it to the next level, definitely grab Snagit. I love those animated GIFs. I know I can like hear my uh, 
my social media folks uh, cheering right now because those are great for social. So love it, yeah, love are. it. Yep. Quick review as to why we love Jing. Again, uh, that URL is TechSmith.com. Their their um, parent company. Uh, Jing, one of the tools that you can get there. Uh, easy capture and share tool. You can grab those images, those screenshots, those videos. Users can annotate, make their notes, uh, paste it. it. Comes a link, which is awesome. Again, for that instant message world that we live in. And Jing is the premium version. Uh, other TechSmith models definitely worthy of checking out, such as. Uh, Snagit. There we go. Snagit. Uh, yep. So, yep, you can check out the next level at techsmith.com slash snagit.com. All right. So, uh, what's next uh, to uh, show us? Is it uh, Schedule 1? Um, so, I'm going to show you Schedule 1s, but let me tell you, before I roll off of here, Camtasia, mm -hmm. think about it. That's going to be coming up maybe in a couple more cool tools because that's another tool I absolutely love. So, uh, just a little quick preview. Wow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Schedule Once. Uh, so, but first what I want to do is do a little fun thing that I'm going to sort of walk through this right here. So I, uh, we deal with customers every day, mm -hmm. potentials, people, partners like yourselves, marketing firms. Uh, we need to schedule a time. The issue becomes... Uh, what works for you? And like we were joking about um, one of our calls before, as we are in New York, I, of course, assume that everybody is on Eastern time. <laughs> so when I say 10 a.m., you, you know, we all assume that it's going to be 10 a.m. Eastern. So that's a little, uh, that can be uh, a little confusing, especially when the calendar invites actually come out. So what happens is that we sort of put an email out there and we say, hey, do you want to meet at this Thursday? An email comes back and says, sure, Thursday works good. Uh, what about 8 to 10? Well, 8 doesn't work, 4 works good. You get another email saying, actually, uh, it's Eastern, not Pacific, and then you go ahead and you go through these. And you can see sort of in this little you know, very trivial demonstration of the number of emails that are coming up is that when we talk about potentials from a customer standpoint, as, as much as we want to interact with people, when there's a potential and you have somebody on the hook, you need to really drill this down to a single email. When somebody says, yeah, I'd like to meet with you, you better make it as easy as possible. And that's what Schedule Once does for us. So let me start with a simple example is that I need to send my... Um, my link to somebody and what schedule once allows us to do is it gives us a link to schedule so this is what I send to people Jamie you've used this people from around the world use this and the first thing it asks you it says okay well what what time zone are you in or really what country are you in so you know we're in the United States today I'm sitting up in Alaska we go ahead and click next set the meeting minutes. I just need to do a quick 30 minute meeting. Now the power of schedule once is that it integrates with a whole bunch of calendars. I have it integrated with my Google calendars and right now I have a multiple calendars. I have my personal calendar and I have my work calendar and uh, they they show up as busy times. So right here uh, you can see that not you know this isn't just 8 to 5 p.m. this is times that are available in their right because again I'm sort of pretending as though I'm the user so they can say okay that works for me locally um, and when the calendar invite comes out it's going to be my local time and when the calendar invite comes to them it's going to be in Alaska time so the other thing you can do is you can have multiple you can uh, you know I as the um, the user of schedule once or the I don't even know what you call it sort of the person that is providing the link the person that I'm trying to hook up with, they can have up to two, three, one different things to say, hey, you know what, a couple of these times work for me. When they click next, they put their information in here and they get, um, I get an email back that says, hey, John Doe wants to have a meeting with you and it is these particular times. I click accept, I send it back to them, I include the conference information and it's done. So it really empowers 
the person that you're trying to get connected with to pick times that work for them, that pick times that work for their schedule. And it also works for them if they don't click on that today and another two, they can click on it. And guess what? They'll see their schedules, our schedules. It makes it so easy. And we have this on a, a macro uh, keyboard buffer because I'm pasting it all the time to say, hey, take a look at my calendar, pick a few times that work for you, and we'll respond with a calendar invite. So Douglas, in that example, when you waited two days and maybe a couple of other meetings got booked, it didn't mm -hmm. you knows that and removes those times as possibilities? It totally does, yes. So when you go to this tool, um, go to my specific link, um, it it automatically refreshes with the with the Google Calendar. Mm -hmm. And um, so, uh, you know, it's really nice because if they didn't get to it or they didn't respond or whatnot, you can still keep hammering those prospects and say, hey, go ahead and uh, hook things up. Now, that is a little bit of a, it still is a, a sort of a two, three step transaction. Schedule once also allows you to do instant bookings because let's say on Thursday between noon and 5 p.m. I do demos. So when a customer says I want to do a 2 p.m. demo, it'll just immediately book it. That's it. I get it's it's locked in my calendar, and so you can really give that user the feeling like they've locked in uh, a demo, maybe support, maybe some training. Makes it very easy. Love it. Yep, uh, I want to show another feature of it, uh, which I am looking at another screen here so I can bring it over, uh, which is to uh, schedule multiple people. So I am going to uh, schedule a group meeting. So I'm going to bring this over here. Now this is what I as the, the um, organizer would do. Wow. So I have to arrange something with Jamie. I have to arrange it with two or three other people. Uh, and so you'll see here all the blue are times that are on my personal and my work calendar. So it already knows what I'm busy uh, for. So I'm going to say I'm free here and let's do a big block on Wednesday and maybe all of Friday and back it off because I want to leave a little early. I'm going to enter the subject is we'll call it a PR meeting. I can even add details which is my conference call information. I can change the details, 30 minutes, and I can save and get this link. Now, what's going to happen is now I have this link here. Yeah, fast, too. Yeah, it is real fast. And I go and I now send this to somebody out in California. Well, guess what? Same kind of thing. And they now have the ability to say, oh, they're free here, here, and here. And now, Jamie, you get one, and you see it. And when we're all done, after three or four times, I, as the organizer, get an email to say, hey, your people are done filling this out. Go in and pick a time. And it looks like 9 a.m. on Monday uh, or, you know, Wednesday works for everybody. Right. Schedules you, it. Well, you can it enter out there. right there, too, right? Uh, oh, sure. Yep. 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 So this day's better for me, um, those kinds of things. And then we go ahead and click and click submit. I did that wrong. There we go. And now I'm submitting those times and now when I go back to take a look at it, I will be able to see the different uh, group meetings when I love that are sitting on there you can literally see who's available when. So if one person isn't as critical and there's, you know, a spot that 90% of the people are, are free and that one not as critical person isn't, at least you can still book it then. So it, it actually gives you a little bit more intelligent than your basic calendar features. 100% because you're right, not very few times uh, is everybody available. So you need to be able to, you know, have those decisions and be able to um, say, yeah, this day is going to, is going to work for the majority. The other thing that I do want to say, Jamie, is that almost everything and anything within um, schedule uh, once is uh, customizable. So when we talk about the different landing pages, when we talk about the emails, we also get the users get reminders. So you can set up a reminder an hour beforehand. You can set up a reminder five minutes beforehand or, you know, a little bit of both. They have Salesforce integrations. They've really done a great job 
um, allowing you to customize this, white label it so that it looks more like your company. But again, this is another tool. Totally wins our 2016 tool, Cool Tools Award. Uh, we use it every day and we love it. It's on my wish list for Christmas. <laughs> so schedule once, um, dot com. It's a tool others suggest meeting times using their time zones, keeping that in mind for sure. It takes out all those back and forth emails. Uh, automatic scheduling sends also reminders um, out. So you can even schedule it so one hour before the call, uh, which is critical for prospecting, right? A reminder, no, 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 we're, we're still meeting in one hour. Be there. Right. Be um, also, it syncs, as, as you mentioned, Douglas, with Google Calendars uh, and more, as well as group scheduling, that cool green uh, bar that you showed us. Pricing can be found on scheduleonce.com slash pricing. Now we're going to go to our final tool for our first installment of Cool Tools, which is Join.me. Um, when I started TruePath Technologies a little over 11 years ago, one of the things starting a company is entrepreneurial. You have to be, uh, you have to find and use all the tools out there that sort of give you the biggest bang for the buck. They have to be uh, easy to use. Um, they they need to sort of give you all the features and functionalities. And I think that over maybe 10 plus sort of years, they've sort of come out with these freemium models. And we've seen a lot of that with the tools that we talked about today. And Join.me is another one of those tools. They have a wonderful freemium model, meaning that you don't have to pay for anything. But I have to say that the next step up, which is their first paid version, has a lot of features and functionalities that will work for most businesses. Um, so let's talk about what Join.me is. So let's step back and say with um, this sort of you know, from the movie Inception is we're on GoToWebinar and we're doing a screen sharing and we're talking about a screen sharing software. So Join.me is another screen sharing software. Hard to say that fast. GoToWebinar is a very feature rich uh, screen sharing software. As you'll see that there are presenters, there are handouts, there's ways to chat, you can do videos, you can do you know, recordings, you can do all these kinds of things. It's a great tool, we're using it for this, but sometimes you want just a, and I don't want to say just down and dirty, but you want to get a very quick and easy way to share your screen. We use join.me for this. And uh, what I'll do actually is I'll just go ahead and start our meeting right here. So I'm going to, um, you can just direct somebody to join.me. So it's very easy to, to download. It's really not even an application that is a, a, a very, uh, it is a very light uh, footprint. So it's not this huge application with all these other things. It can be installed very easily. And what happens is this, you start it and you get these little codes. So you can do this. You can tell somebody, oh, go to join.me and put 190-958-506 in. Or you can just copy the link and paste it. And that's usually what we do, right? Yeah. Uh, and it, it's as easy as this. Is you start, you, you begin to share, and it's as easy as that. The, I love it. Yeah, We're it, sharing it, the screen yeah. that's sharing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. So you can do that. So when our engineers are working with somebody, Jing is a great utility that we can share a screen, share a video, but I need to see it live. I get, you have to actually walk me through it and I need some questions. Um, I need to ask some questions while you're doing something and join.me can do that. This is the freemium version. So if I click on this right here, you can see that um, I can't pass the presenter role. I can't annotate. I can't record. I can't lock the meeting. I can't do things like that. So you start to see that with the next version up, you obviously get a little bit more features and functionalities. And I'll go to the pricing of that. And it's really not that bad. I, it, it's just amazing that um, really just for a little bit of money, you get really an enterprise pro package. The other thing you can see uh, when you get the pro is that you can have a, um, a customized link. So go to join.me slash truepathtech and to have our own uh, naming for that um, and it goes up from there. So we tell people, hey, if you got to share something, go to join.me, you download the app, they tell us the nine numbers and boom, we're in. Couldn't be any easier.
I love it. Yep. Uh, I'm going to jump just quickly over to, well, actually what I want to do is I'm going to exit this meeting right here so I don't. Uh, so, you know, let's, let's, let's take a look. Free, simple screen sharing, uh, ten, 10 meeting participants, five video feeds. You can just X out of that uh, start join, join.me box. Yeah, so we get the number of $20. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Um, very easy to set up, install. All of these really are the same. The other thing that the pro gives you is a nice landing page. So you can tell people, hey, go here, and it'll tell you when the meeting starts. It'll allow them to knock on it, put their name in it, and then they can go ahead and join. Another very good feature of the Pro is unlimited audio with international conference lines. We have uh, employees, developers around the world, and that helps with schedule once, but we need to be able to have them talk to us too. So um, join.me gives them the ability to have their own local international line that they can uh, use. And you know we're talking $20 a month. Um, I'm pretty sure it gets even cheaper when you uh, do it per year if you pay per year. Right. We do a whole bunch of stuff. You can lock the meetings. You can do recordings. We do whiteboards. A lot of sort of neat screen and you know window sharing while you're doing it. So again, 2016 Cool Tools Award definitely goes to Join.me. And that version where you can actually, because you know branding is all we love branding. So mm -hmm. the version where you get join.me slash truepath comes with that $20 pro package? It does. It awesome. does, yep. Yep. Yeah. So um, I think that when you get up into, you'll see how their sort of business um, version sort of isn't as big of a jump, right? So you'll see sort of you get probably 95% of their features in the pro. And then with the 25, you might get something into the cloud storage. Um, single sign-on, you know, things like that, 250 meeting participants. So it sort of jumps up to where you have some really large uh, screen sharing going on. But for us, um, the pro version is more than sufficient. And when we're doing onesie twosies with the customers out there, the free works even more. So great tool. You can't beat the cost. And I'll tell you from a customer retention and prospecting uh, standpoint, for us it's all about those video feeds. The fact that you can get 10 video feeds and that pro version, I think with the GoToMeeting you get six, um, and that's for like $80 a month. So just to oh, you wow. know, compare, it's um, you, you're definitely getting a good bang for your buck for sure. Mm -hmm. now, the one thing too that, that I want to add is that we've used a whole bunch of other screen sharing tools, and we've been using this one for years. And it seems like this is one of the easier ones for customers to share out with, if that makes sense. Sometimes yeah. when they have WebExes and, and you know, go to webinars and whatnot, because of the sort of, I don't know, maybe the yeah. robustness of it, yeah, they have a hard time sharing it and we can't see their screens. And for the majority of the time, if not near all, Join.me works for us and, and you know, we can see the, the customer screen. So lightweight, easy to use, can't beat the feature, definitely a cool tool for us. So let me go ahead and do just a quick wrap wrap up, and then we want to we want your questions on any of the tools that we uh, we just shared with you. Join .dot me, um, which is the website as well. Uh, simple and easy online web conference tools set up and use in seconds. That uh, just easy. Come type in those numbers, and and you're off and running. Um, users do have the option of phone or internet calls, so you can save money there. Um, advanced features include screen recording, making those notes, that whiteboarding feature, etc. And a true path tip, free works great in a pinch, um, that freemium model, especially if you're having multiple, um, multiple sessions at one given time. But that pro, $20 or business, $25, um, certainly low cost still with uh, very feature rich. Uh, check out the pricing for, for further details at join.me slash pricing. So, uh, guys, if you have any questions, again, on um, join.me or schedule once or Jing, um, go ahead and type on it, type it in or just raise your hand and, and I'll give you a shout out. I'll unmute you and you can ask your question.
Great. And while you're waiting on that, I do want to say that I've just touched on some of the features of these three tools. So make sure you do visit their websites. Check out the features and functionalities. I shared with you some of the things that we use on a daily basis with these tools. But I have to say you could spend two or three hours on each of these tools because they have tons of features and functionalities. And especially when you get up into the paid versions, you get even more. So um, Everything I showed you is not just what you get. A lot more fun stuff to each one of them. All right. Um, any questions yet? Oh, I have a question. There we go. Let me get to the question panel here. Um, this one comes from uh, Katie. And her question is, Douglas, can you personalize the backgrounds to reflect the branding of your company? Good question, Katie. Yes, so um, I'm guessing we're talking about well, let's see if I can do a little bit of all of them. So schedule once, you have the ability to do branding so that when we showed some of that landing pages, right? So when I sent them the link, you can put your uh, logo in there and, um, you know, it looks more like a company. You know that it's just not some, you know, whiz-bang site that's out there. So definitely branding within schedule once and with uh, join.me, you totally can. So when you get into your landing zone, and it's funny because remember how you said you like the background of my desktop? That is the same background that we use on our branding of our join.me pro site. So totally can, and uh, it really looks pro, and um, again, you can't beat it. Yeah, and they have that whole landing page you can customize on the mm -hmm. pro version. Yes, right. yes, yes, on the pro version. All right, well, thank you, Katie. Jackie is up next for Schedule 1s. Mm -hmm. um, are you finding a better conversion rate with prospects since using this? Ooh, Jackie, good question. Great question. And and I, I think I tried to touch on that at the beginning is that when you get that first customer on the hook, you really want to get it scheduled and get it going before the love sort of fades away. And next thing you know, they don't really feel like talking to you about your tools or your services or your products. So, um, that we have a very large conversion rate. I don't know if I can say as much as sort of making the sale, but definitely, if not very near, you know, up in the 90s percent easily for getting somebody to make a scheduled appointment um, and getting it on the calendar. So much easier. And um, I have so much more faith in it as well because, again, it's something that they can go back to with that link or you can keep peppering them with the same link. And uh, finally, when they go in there, they can pick a time that really works for them. And they can take a little bit of time, too. You know, not like when you're on the phone and they say, hey, is this work? And everybody's trying to sort of, you know, well, I'm not, I'm not here Friday afternoon. Well, why isn't Jim here Friday afternoon? You know, sometimes people don't want to <laughs> say that, right? Like, oh, I'm going to take off early. But uh, they can take their time and go through that. So uh, great question. Uh, from a conversion to making a scheduled appointment, very, very high. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Also, in those reminders that come out, uh, you know, once it's booked. Um, yeah, totally. Also yep. help that, that conversion rate. Yep. Right. Now, um, let me just add one thing, too, is that there's also a link to reschedule, which um, we don't really push to the customers, but in the reminders or in the calendar invite, it has it on there. So um, the customer says, eh, I can't make it, so they'll, so they'll click on a link. They'll pick three more times. It'll get canceled and moved, and boom, all done. So it's like you're giving the power to them to, you know, schedule within your calendars that that works for you. Really is beautiful collaboration. And then my next question here is from um, from Katie. Um, she asks again, have you used the whiteboard functionality in Join.me? I have. Yes, great, uh, great question. So. Um, you can do the whiteboard where really it's just a so the, so the funny thing is is a whiteboard is really just screen sharing a white screen with annotations right so sometimes we would just take the screen and turn annotations on and start drawing on it so we have used that and it's nice you know what a whiteboard is is a great way when somebody's trying to explain something not only do they can use the whiteboard, but more importantly, have, have I understood what you're trying to say? So let me draw your network diagram. Do I have it right? Have, have I heard you correctly? And that begins the conversation, and the whiteboard allows you to do that for sure. 
And then one last question here from uh, Terry. Can you personalize the notifications to the customer for Schedule 1? 100%. Yep. Um, I like to think that Schedule Once, if you sort of had to compare it for Apple to Android, is, you know, for those people that have used Android, there's like a thousand features, and with Apple, there's like two or three features, right? So if you like to really dial in and customize things and have embedded things within your web page and whatnot, you can really go to the max. I think we've probably touched on 10, maybe 15% of Schedule Once's features, but there is a whole slew of other really neat things you can do from, um, you know, branding it with your company to um, customizing the emails and the alerts that your customers get through the email, for sure. Well, I think uh, that wraps it up, um, unless I'm forgetting anyone's question out there. Um, but um, we are definitely looking forward to Friday, December 16th, uh, next True Path Technologies Cool Tools um, web series. So that'll be two of five. Um, and I think you have a little preview for us, Douglas. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about Hot Keyboard Pro. Uh, interesting little utility for those that uh, need to sort of automate things when you're using your computers from macro starting applications and what's neat is that we're going to integrate some of these tools that we talked about today into the Hot Keyboard Pro so uh, join us on the 16th uh, that should be fun. Definitely we're looking forward to it. Thank you Douglas you've been so generous with your time we so appreciate all your insights and cool tools and congratulations to the technologies out there who have been Cool Tools awarded, 2016 awarded uh, for True Path Cool Tools. Uh, and we look forward to um, learning more about Hot Keyboard Pro and more on the 16th. Join us then. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, uh, pr at jamiescotto.com. We'll get you registered for the next time. Thanks, everyone, and uh, have a good one. Thanks, everyone. Bye now.